Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dust and Elysian Tale. In the previous video, we started our assault toward General Gaius and his army, and now it is finally time for us to wrap things up. And we're going to start by breaking away the platform and doing the boot jump up over here. And right now we are on a mission to take out General Gaius's cannon. We've taken out two of them so far, and I think there's only two left. All right, now we gotta wait for the uh, platform to come over here. There it is. And duck right down, jump. And there we are. And the map's being a bit buggy again. And here's the third cannon right here. And it is destroyed. And I just got a ring of patience, which I already have. Don't need it. And there is one more item for us to pick up somewhere, and there it is. And I believe that treasure key... Yep! The very last bit of treasure in this game. We got 100% of the treasure found in the world of Falana. So no more exploring left. All that remains is running and gunning. Or running and swinging, I should say. So, uh, what can I talk about here? Oh wow, did I destroy that cannon from down there? Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did that. But that right there was the final cannon. That's all of them. We are nearly there, Mithraurin. Once we are through their line, General Gaius will be within sight. No matter what happens, my friend, it has been an honor to fight by your side. Who was I talking to? There was no one standing in front of me. At least not throughout the entire conversation, anyway. And I leveled up. And not only that, I also updated the main quest. Uh, let's give a point to Fidget and read the quest log. Fulfill your purpose and defeat your old comrade, General Gaius. Will do. But anyway... So I... What hit me? I have no idea what just hit me. Anyway... So I said in the previous video that there are brand new ages being added in Mist Online Uru Live. Well, just before recording this video, I went ahead and checked them out. And I was right, there were three ages added to the game. Um, one of them being like a, like a library that holds Lincoln Books to the other two ages. Uh, one of the other ages being a pub. And the third age being like some sort of a, a memorial age, paying tribute to those who who uh, used to play Uru Live. Yeah, like a whole age dedicated to those affiliated to the Myth community, whether by playing Uru Live or by actually having a part, uh, a different part in the Myth game. Like, uh, one of the names included in the, uh, in the tribute is, uh, David Ogden Stiers, who you guys might know as, uh, Major Winchester from MASH, as well as a few other Disney characters, like, um, I don't know why I say a few other Disney characters, I mean, uh, a few Disney characters, like, um, Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast, uh, Governor Ratcliffe from Pocahontas, and uh, Jumba from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, he his name was included in the uh, in this new wave. That's because he actually voiced a couple of characters in the Myth game. Uh, he voiced a couple of characters in uh, the Myth spin-off game Uru, in both the online and the offline version. And he also voiced one of the main characters in Myth Five: End of Ages. Yeah, it's so cool that they have this, uh, the new aid that, uh, paying tribute to, to those who were a big part of the Myth community that passed away. I think that's actually a very nice, uh, a very nice addition to, to the game. And I leveled up again! That was quick. Uh, let's see. Let's do attack. And there is a shop right here. 
And the rest of the map got revealed, and we have 100% of the map as well. Not only for here in the Everdon Basin, but also 100% of all of Falana explored. And also, I wonder, can I now finally craft the soldier's armor? Will I have enough dog tags? Nope. Uh, apparently not. Oh well. But in any case, the time has finally come, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is now time, at long last, to face General Gaius and finish him off, once and for all. General Gaius! Wait! Wait! Just a moment. Lower your weapons. I said lower your weapons! You have much to answer for, General. And what of you, my friend? A year ago I heard stories of your death, at the hands of a child, no less. Now here you stand, not only alive, but leading the very creatures we've been charged to destroy. You've been charged to destroy, not me. What happened to you, Cassius? Cassius? Do you not remember your own name? What have those damned moonbloods done to you? What did you call me? Cassius! That's who you are! Don't listen to him! You're Jin now! Remember that! I... You're remembering now, aren't you? Together, nothing stood in our way. We shaped this world together. And together, we can finish what we started. You ordered the deaths of countless people. Countless Moonbloods. Moonblood sympathizers. Anyone that stood in your way! Yes. And you carried them out. Lower your blade, old friend. First, we destroy these Moonbloods once and for all. Then I can help rid you of these fantasies that have spoiled your mind. Just listen to me. Cassius was my name. That doesn't matter. It's all that matters! All those people I killed, fidgets. How could I possibly redeem myself in a mere few days? You cannot, Dust. This was never about redeeming Cassius. But then, you are not Cassius. But I share his form, his very soul. That doesn't matter! Why do you keep saying that? Because you're not just Cassius! Jin didn't kill those people. Jin saved Aurora and Mudpot Village. Jin stopped Fuse, saved Lady Tethys, and now he's the only thing standing against General Gaius. Cassius would destroy the Moonbloods. But Jin, he would protect them. No, Fidget. You're wrong. Jin didn't do any of those things. Then you finally come to your senses. Jin is dead, as is Cassius. Their souls now live within me, constantly reliving that fateful day. Forever in battle, forever at odds. But as long as I live, I still have a choice. Then what are you? I am Justice Incarnate, brought to this world by forces beyond your comprehension. A cleansing storm to sweep across the land and purge it of your foul presence. I am Dust. And your campaign ends here, now. Throw down your weapons and surrender, or you will face an enemy unlike any this world has ever seen. Cassius, please, don't do this. You know you cannot win. Let's end this. Alright, it's time, folks. The final battle is upon us. It's time to take out General Gaius, once and for all. And this is the only boss in the game that had multiple stages. Yeah, once we completely defeat, uh, deplete General Gaius' health here, the battle will not end. Ah! Dang it! You got me! Eat a wall chicken to, uh, restore my... Wow, my, um... Energy meter. Yeah, there we go! And... Gotcha! You cannot win, Cassius. You never could beat me. Stop calling me Cassius! 
There was a time when you stood by my side. We were allies once. Not anymore, General. I'm not your ally, and I'm not your friend. Now raise your blade or drop it. You never could scare me either, Cassius. Very well. To the death! Oh, yep, here's day two of the battle. And this final battle is actually extremely intense. Oh, and now he's got new abilities. He summoned those uh, orbs that I think can silence Fidget if I get hit by them. Oh, and we got some Moonblood soldiers joining in on the battle to help us out. Ow. Ow! Damn it! Okay. Oh, and I've been poisoned. Okay, well, let's eat a mushroom. And let's see. Let's eat one of these to increase my defense and that to increase my attack. And have the birthday cake equipped. Okay. And it looks like guy has got some allies of his own joining in on the battle, too. But yeah, this final battle is actually very, very intense. And the music that plays during this battle is super epic. It really fits well. Ow. Look out. Oh, and now we enter stage three. Don't you remember anything, Cassius? Why would you draw your blade against your fellow soldiers? Why would you draw your blade against me? You're destroying this world, Gaius. You and your soldiers cannot be allowed to continue your campaign. This world belongs to the strong, Cassius. It belongs to us. Don't you remember your duty? Don't you remember your friends? I remember everything. And it changes nothing! Oh, yep, we're halfway through the battle now. Look out, look out! There we go, bring that explosive fruit over to uh, Gaia. <laughs> oh, Perry, watch out! Ah, ow. Now, I will be honest, I haven't done a practice part of this battle because I'm still going for that above and beyond the call achievement. And I want to get that achievement on camera. So you might actually see me get killed during this battle. But I'm going to do the best I can to stay alive. And I just ate my last birthday cake. Woo! Look out, look out, look out! Okay, I need something to eat. Uh, let's eat one of these again and that as well. All right, there we go. The final phase. And death is right. Ah, crap. This is a bad place to be. Get me out of here. Okay. All right, I gotta be careful with the death storm. Woo! Yeah, I don't want to throw myself down into the lava like I did earlier. Oh! Oh, good recovery. Oh, God! Ah, crap. Ah, shit. Okay, now Fidget is silent. Crap. Okay. Time to eat some more food. I have to put the lasagna, even though I don't like lasagna. Yeah, I may have stated this in another Let's Play. I'm a fan of Garfield, yet I don't like lasagna. <laughs> ah, watch out, watch out, watch out! Woo! Alright, come on, he's almost dead! And with one final strike... It is done. And there it is, above and beyond the call. But, what just happened? Looks like Death got struck down by a cannon or something. 
And Gaius is now calling out for Cassius. And we must now answer that call. And this isn't the cutscene, by the way. I'm actually controlling Dust here. Yeah, see? He's not moving. So, this is it, guys. This is the end of Dust. An Elysian Get Tale. You... You're not Cassius. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. But Cassius is gone, as is the world we once loved. Cherish it. Through the actions of our Sen Mithrarin Dust, the Moonblood race is finally free. We will never forget his sacrifice or the deeds that saved our very world. We shall always remember what happened here. Dust's sacrifice will allow the Moonblood race to rise again, to rebuild our glorious civilization and live peacefully among the races of this world. Though it may appear that dust has fallen here today. A force of good is not so easily extinguished. Zen Mithrarin was born of hey. dust. A current hey. of the winds of change. A harbinger of storms yet to come. That's it, folks. That was Dust and Elysian Tale. Oh, man. That ending gets me every time. Like, I won't lie, the first time I played this game and I saw that ending, I was almost driven to tears. Like, <laughs> it's such a powerful ending that you won't ever see coming the first time you play this game. I certainly didn't see it coming. But, wow. That is such a powerful ending right there. So, at long last, we are finally done with this game. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And, what can I say about this game? Oh my god. Where do I even start? Um... 
Well, I guess the first thing I can talk about is probably uh, the biggest factor of this game, and that the uh, the artistry of this game. Like, considering that the majority of this game is all hand-drawn animation, that alone is impressive. But the fact that it was all done by just one person, that just makes it even more incredible. So yeah, Dean Dodrell, freaking kudos, man. I mean, he did such a fantastic job, not only with the artistry, but also with the, uh, with the character designs and the story and everything. And, um... Yeah, the only things he didn't do were the voice acting and the music. And speaking of the music, the music is also top-notch as well, with a whole variety of tracks that have like different ranges in terms of atmosphere, and um, they all fit very, very well in uh, the point of the game that they play in. I definitely recommend you check out the soundtrack for this game. It's just top-notch stuff. Um... And the characters are all very likable. Well, most of them are. Uh, the main characters are all very likable. Some of the side characters are. The gameplay mechanics are very easy to uh, pick up on. I mean, considering that it's a Metroidvania-style game, it's not really all that complicated. And, um... Yeah. There's, there's just so much to appreciate about this game. Although, this game is not quite perfect. I do have a couple of issues that get in the way. Um, one of them is General Gaius himself. I mean, not that he's a, a bad final boss for the game. I mean, the final boss battle at the end there is just uh, really strong, intense stuff. It's just that his character overall isn't all that good because the game doesn't really explain what his motivation is, why he wants to destroy all the Moonbloods. The only thing that I could gather is that he was following the King's orders. Well, okay, why did the King want to get rid of all the Moonbloods? The game doesn't really explain all that much, and because of that, there's no real motivation behind General Gaius's character, and that doesn't make for a good villain. If you want to have a strong villain, his motivation has to be strong as well. But with General Gaius, his motivation is pretty weak. Therefore, his character as a whole is pretty weak as well. The other issue I have is the voice acting. I mean, some of the voice actors do a good job reading their lines. It's just that sometimes when the character talks, I'm made aware by the fact that it's a person behind a microphone saying those lines. I especially have those pro that problem with, um, with Dust whenever he talks. Because every time he says something, I can always hear Lucy and Dodge like breathing into his microphone when he's saying his lines. That and a couple of times in the game, um, there's a character talking where the audio quality doesn't match with every other time that character is talking, um, particularly with Augustine and Fidget. But those are the two only main issues I have with this game. Everything else is just top notch, pitch perfect. Dust and Elysian Tale is one of the best games I've ever played, one of my all time faves. Top 5 easily. Heck, maybe even top 3. And I highly recommend you get this game and play it for yourself. And it's really weird that this is one of my favorite games, considering that it's a kind of game that I don't usually get that much into. I mean, I'm not really the kind of person that plays Metroidvania games or indie games or just RPGs in general. Yeah, I'm not really an RPG kind of player. I'm more into like first-person shooters and whatnot. But yeah, the fact that a game like Dust was able to grab me and leave such a, a big impact on me, that's, that's saying something. And yeah, I absolutely love this game from start to finish, and I really hope to see a sequel to this game come out. In fact, I do know that Dean Dodrill says he has plans on doing a sequel for this game. It's just that, that it's not his main focus as of right now. He's sort of working on other projects. However, just recently, I did come across something on Google that I think is worth bringing up. And it's this fan-made poster that I found on Google. Um, here it is right here. I, I can't see it on my screen, but I know you guys can. Yeah, this is a fan-made poster made by someone on DeviantArt for a sequel to Dust. And the poster shows Fidget, not as her 
Nimba itself, but she's actually a Moonblood in this picture. And she's holding Dust's hat, and above her head, there's the Blade of Ara fighting off with another sword. Possibly another Blade of Elysium. And I actually went ahead and checked out this person's um, uh, gallery, and this person came up with some really neat concepts for this kind of concept. And after seeing this poster, I got to thinking, what other interesting things could we add to this concept? Like, what if in the sequel, Fidget was the main playable character in the game? Like, she became a Moonblood, she wields another Blade of Elysium, and she embarks on a quest to find a way to bring Dust back to life. And she develops her own new power, like the, the ability to harness water and make, like, uh, water cyclones or something like that. Those... those there are so many possibilities that can be done with this very concept. So yeah, Dean Dodro, if you're if you happen to be watching this video and you see this poster, please look into this. This is something that can't be ignored. There are so much possibilities that can be done with this kind of concept. So anyway, that is it for this Let's Play at Long Last. I am Descent Freak. Thank you guys once again for watching this Let's Play. And um oh and uh, I want to give you a hint for the upcoming Let's Play I'm going to do alongside the remainder of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, for my next Let's Play, well, let's just say I'm going to throw you guys in for a few loops. I'll just leave it at that. So with that, it is time to put this game to rest. And also... 30 out of 30 Steam Achievements, 100%. I now have all of the achievements for Dust and Elysian Tale. So I guess this means I have no reason to play this game anymore, huh? <laughs> Actually, no, that's not true. I love this game so much, I'm going to play this game many, many more times in the future. So anyway, thank you guys once again so, so much for watching this Let's Play. And um, I will see you guys next time with the next new Let's Play I'll be doing. So, take care, everybody. Goodbye.